What's up, everybody? It's Jonathan, Senor Smoke, from the Ring of Fire in Westchester County. Ring of Fire, check out those new lids, baby. You just had them made. Um, today, uh, the actual other camera is not working, so we're jumping on the iPhone today for an impromptu little video. Um, I'm rolling smoke on my Timberline 850 right now, which is here next to me. Got a chicken on there. I'm going over to my cousin's house in a little bit. He's having a smoke out uh, over there with lots of libations being poured, so I'm looking forward to getting over there soon. Um, the bird is on my Timberline for about the next hour and a half, all season rubbed up, and we're doing something different. I want to show you what we're adding to the mix today. See these bad boys? We brought the old hick in the house to the ring of fire, folks. These are pellets that are made from old Jim Beam barrels. Yes, sirree. If you want to infuse your smoke with that smoothness, Jim Beam bourbon, we have the goods. Um, I took it, um, I've been using Lumberjacks and Traegers traditionally in terms of my pellets, and somebody who's, uh, knowledge in the outdoor cooking industry I just uh, I mean he's up there he told me a few weeks ago he's like Jonathan you have to get involved with Ol' Hick Ol' Hick is a pellet manufacturer a company called Energex that's out of Appalachia um, deep in the woods of Pennsylvania he says Jonathan their pellets are beyond next level they're the best in the marketplace and they have apple they have hickory all taken from trees in the Appalachian woods um, you know, there's no oils involved, any, any nonsense. It's just straight trueness coming from those, those particular tree species. And he said, and they have a third product, which is the Jim Beam product. And what they've done here is that they're actually, they've taken old Jim Beam bourbon barrels, casks, and they're basically turning them into pellets, okay? So I can tell you right now, as I stand out here with this cooking away, and we're not really smoking because we're at 350 degrees, I can smell that smooth bourbon, just that flavor. My olfactory senses are kind of kicking right now, and I haven't had any beer yet. But um, this is definitely next level. My cousin is actually using it as we speak on a pork butt that he's um, had going for about seven hours put it on at 4 30 in the morning he contacted me at about 10 o'clock he said texted me I was at my son's basketball game he's like you have got to smell these pellets coming out off the Traeger it is absolutely intoxicating and as I stand here in my yard I could absolutely vouch for that these are insane we have them in the ring of fire now they're 20 dollars a bag I duck 20 pound bags the other old hick products are going to be 40 pound bags at $29 a pop, which is still a great uh, a great value. So I would welcome you to come to Ring of Fire, grab the Jim Beam, grab the other varieties, particularly for those who are going to be smoking bird in the next week and a half to Thanksgiving. This would be absolutely insane powering your turkey smoke. All right? So I'll send you some pictures when I'm done, but remember, the old hick has arrived at the Ring of Fire. Jim Beam, baby.